Hello there and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? My name is Achola. If you are new, welcome here on Achola's Closet. We talk personal style and just how to look and feel your best at any budget. And if that sounds like something you are interested in, go ahead and hit on that subscribe button. Also hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video. Now, if you would like to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram and you can also find me on Facebook at Achola's. Now today on Achola's Closet, I thought since it was the Oscars last night, how about we do a sit down and roast some of the Oscars looks um, from last night. And um, to do that, I thought I will put on my best Oscar worthy dress as well. And that is the Paco Rabanne dress. I pair that with my cuffed earrings that I picked up from Hudson's Bay years ago. Um, but back to our today's video. I thought the Oscars red carpet was actually interesting this year. Um, I mean, we've seen some new faces and then you also seen some amazing looks and then some not so amazing looks and then you also have some of the worst looks that you're like um, some people showed up there and you're like are you supposed to be here or are you in the wrong place you know um, but we'll discuss that in the video so to kickstart that I thought we'll do this in an alphabetical order and I have decided to do some of my favorite best looks and then the worst looks, of course. So let's just dive right into the video. Um, first one I have, the first victim is America Ferreira and she is wearing Alberta Ferrari. First things first, I love seeing pregnant women on the red carpet showcasing their pregnancy styles and all of that but i just thought america's outfit was just boring like even the color was just a little bit too dark for me i'm like in that transition piece where like a transitional <laughs> transition spot where i'm just ready to dive into spring summer but yet it's still fall winter if you know what i mean um so for the red carpets i mean for her personally i think that a bright color would have been perfect um just like a beautiful red or even a nice yellow um like even a blue i thought would be really nice we didn't really we didn't see any blues on the carpet did we interesting but no and then now take that boring burgundy look they decided to make it a little bit more interesting with that gold hat band that i was just like no what are we doing like why like we could live without the hat band no it was just so unnecessary like that thing needs to go i think the little cup sleeve thing i didn't even like it that much I just wish they put her in a different dress altogether. Could have still been in that flowy silhouette, but just um, just a different color, I think would have worked better. Um, up next, we have Miss Billie Eilish and Chanel. Now, here's the thing. I am tired of seeing this beautiful young woman on every red carpet wearing an ill-fitting oversized pantsuits. I am tired. Like, I wish her stylist or her team will now, like just moving forward, put her in a better looking outfit. I know she does not want to uh, show her body so it becomes a topic of conversations and whatnot, but I still feel that you can show your body a little bit without it being like too tight you know what i mean like it doesn't have to be too tight too tight and again this is not doing her any justice 
and just because it's Chanel, now I realize the girl loves her logos. Like she's got Chanel logo all the way to her hair accessories. And I'm like, just because it's Chanel doesn't mean it's a good look. Like this look like a mess. The pants need to be tailored a little bit. And I feel like the jacket could fit a little bit better. Now I wish they had done the straight leg pants and then just crop the jacket a little bit shorter and then give her maybe a shirt with a necktie. Like that Chanel look, I felt like it would have looked great on her. But this one here, no, take it back. Um, but now from one Billy to another Billy, you know, we've got Mr. Billy Porter himself. Now I thought Billy looked good. It's not like a wow, amazing look for me personally, because I feel like this is, this is almost two different looks put together. Like the top half is giving me his Met Gala look inspiration and then the bottom half is kind of giving me that Lady Gaga Alexander McQueen printed flowy dress that she wore before. Um, I can't remember if it was the Grammy or not but if this is what this look is giving me two different dresses two different occasions and I am not loving it. I think the color is beautiful. I love the gold on Billy. I thought it looked amazing on him. The hairstyle was perfection, the makeup, but it's just the bottom half of the dress, I wish it was something different. You know what I mean? Like his first Oscars look, like the black ball gown suit was so amazing that it's going to be hard to top it off. And um, this one here is kind of, it just fell a little bit flat for me. But boy, can he wear heels. Like, did you see the boots? I mean, these are some platform boots, okay? Um, but no, I thought the look was just okay for me. I'm not like wowed by it and I don't even hate it. I just think it looked good. Um, up next, we have Black China. Now, a girl has caused so much controversy from the moment she stepped onto that red carpet until today we're still talking Black China. Um, just like the rest of the world, I would like to know what was she doing at the Oscars. I mean, I am not here to investigate, so I am going to be talking about her outfit. Um, she is wearing Donna Matoshi. I've never heard of Donna Matoshi before. And um, I personally think that for, like for your first Oscars red carpet look, this is what you choose. Like really, I mean, I don't even know where to start. Um, but I think the half part of the outfit is actually nice. I like the skirt. I like the thigh high slit. I thought it looked beautiful and I like her tattoos showing. I don't mind that. I love her flower tattoo. I think it just adds a little bit of an element into her outfits and whatnot. And then you have the top part, right? Let's talk the top part. Now the Tatas don't need to be out tonight or last night. We've seen those girls so many times. We see them so much that for Oscars red carpet, I think we could have hit the girls for a night and they would survive and then, you know, the night would have been perfect. Now had the top of the dress been a little bit covered, a little bit more classy, I would have been here for her, like good for you, you actually looked classy and elegant, but this, hmm, no, I can't. And then to top it off, 
She's got... First things first, did she get a new face? Because, I mean, her face looks like a brand new face. The chin was pointed. I mean, it's pointy as hell. And the makeup look, I also wished she had a little bit pop of color on her face whether it was eyeshadow lipstick or even just blush because to me she just looked so ghostly almost looked sick and i am not here for it i wish she had color on her face hit the girls for a night and then show the legs it would have been an awesome look now the little details on the shoulder i didn't care for it too much and having it actually on the cuff made no difference um, but no I just thought we could have done so much better for your first Oscars red carpet look yeah that is that's it for me um, up next you've got Brad Pitt now out of all the men on the red carpet I just thought his suit kind of looked a little bit ill-fitting, and that's why he is on my list. Everybody else looked good and boring, as always, in their tuxedo suits and whatnot. Um, but for him, I thought the pants could have fit better. The blazer needed to be tailored just a little bit so it fits better on the body. Like, I understand we are middle-aged now, but still. That doesn't mean we wear ill-fitting clothes, right? Absolutely not. Um, that suit needed to go to the tailor and have them just tailor it better and have it fit better. Now I'm going to put him right next to Tom Hanks, which I thought looked impeccable. Again, they decided to go into the same direction, um, dressing-wise because it was the black trousers, white shirt, black bow tie, and then you have the velvet jacket. However, if you look at Tom Hanks, his jacket just fit better, the pants, the length was perfect, the legs fit amazing, he even got like a nicer dress shoes, whereas with Brad Pitt, again, I thought the shoes was just, it doesn't match, um, and I thought that if had the shoes been a little bit more of a patent leather, something a little bit shinier, maybe it would have been better. But yes, his suit needs to, like needed to fit better. Same thing with the shoes. We just needed a little bit of a better looking shoes to complete that suit. Now, moving along to Miss Charlize Theron. Um, over the years, you know, we've kind of have this high expectations for Charlize because she has one of the best bodies in Hollywood and I think she can do no wrong. However, this award season, she flopped. And um, for the Oscars, I was hoping she would do better and just you know wow us and then we got this um black dior art couture look i mean there's nothing to talk about i mean does it fit her beautifully yes but other than that nothing it's just a black dress with some fat high slit long train and that is it However, let's move on to someone that gave me life on the red carpet last night, and that is Cynthia Erivo. Um, she is wearing Atelier Versace. Now, this white number here, I thought it was just <sighs> beautiful. And um, now, this is an example of a beautiful dress on a beautiful woman, and everything just you know mary so well i love her short hair i thought the makeup was flawless her accessories were minimal and the dress itself just fits her beautifully 
I love the thigh high slit and of course the shoes was matched to the dress. I mean, you can't ask for more. Moving along to Miss Janelle Monet. Now Janelle, I have been living through this woman for years now. I love it when she does the whole men inspired three piece suits. Um, and then she goes out and does a dress for you and you're like, oh my God, she just, she does it so well. And last night was no exception for me. I love this because it was interesting. It was unique. It was one of a kind in a way. Um, now this one here, I think it was a two piece. It's like a top with a hood and then you have the uh, A-line skirt. Um, but together it just blends so well that when you look at the picture, it looked like a dress. Um, but no, I just thought she looked amazing. And for me, Janelle can do no wrong when it comes to dressing. Um, I just, I love her style. And for the longest time I have been following her, I am like, you know, she always manages to give you a look. And this for me last night was a look and I love every bit of it. Along to Julia Butters. Now, Julia Butters, I know she is a child. This girl is 10 years old. And um, Christian Siriano just decided to put her in this mess of a look right here. And I'm just wondering why. Like, I feel like this whole look is just so messy and a little bit too old for a 10 year old. Um, I mean, Christian, you could have put her in a nice tutu dress that is age appropriate. And I love her bag as well. I thought it was really cute. She even had snacks in it to uh, snack it into. <laughs> She came in with her own snacks in her little cute purse and I was like, oh, you're so cute. But no, I just thought she was a sweet little girl and to put her in this mess of a look was just wrong, you know? Like she does not deserve this whatsoever. So Christian, let's do better, you know? Um, always remember the age of the client as well. It's like, how old is she? And that messy look was just a no-no for me, so no. Um, moving along, we've got Kristen Wig in her Valentino Art Couture. Now, this dress is causing so much buzz on social media. And to be quite honest with you, I actually love it, you know? I thought it was an interesting cut. It is... The red is just so beautiful and the little ruffle details on the side, I just thought it add a little bit of an interesting element and the cut of it is actually so interesting that you're like, oh my God, it's actually a cute dress. Very, very artsy in a way. Um, and I also love that she paired it with the glove, like long gloves. I thought it was super nice. So one thing that threw me off about the dress was just the mesh that you can see under her arm on the side. Now I wish that we didn't have that there so she could give us like a side boobage. I thought it would have been amazing. Um, but since we don't want to give side boobage, I thought had the nude mesh kind of just match her skin flawlessly and you didn't have the black trimming on it i thought it would have been amazing but other than that i still love the dress and i thought she looked beautiful and the color was just amazing as well um next up i have kelly ripa she is wearing christian seriano again christian um let's just bring it down a notch sometimes because this dress here, I felt like it could have gone two ways. Now the top, I thought the top was interesting, fit beautifully. 
and then it came down to this pleated skirt, right? Now I wish the pleated skirt had gone all the way to the ground, more like a full length skirt, that would have been beautiful. But no, you had to cut that skirt and add that poof skirt at the bottom, which was kind of like, I'm like, okay. I mean, we could have taken the uh, pleated skirt out completely and just leave the poof sleeve, like the poof skirt at the bottom and that would have been perfect as well. Like we didn't need, we didn't need the middle skirt. No, there was no need for it. So unnecessary. Um, but no, otherwise I thought it would have been a really good, decent look had it not had the middle skirt there. Um, but let's move along. Up next, I have Miss Lucy. I have Lucy Boynton in Chanel. Now, I feel like in this red carpet particularly, Chanel had flopped in all of the red carpet looks. Now, this one here, um, I'm just like, this is one of the ugliest dresses I've seen on a red carpet in a long time. And I've, I looked up Lucy to see if this is how she always dresses up, but actually no. The woman had worn some beautiful dresses and she's 25. Now this dress right here just makes her look <sighs> so old, it's ugly. Um, very matronly, I don't understand all of this top or even the skirt, I don't. Um, but no, I mean, for me, I feel like unless you are paying me to wear that dress, Chanel, I am not paying you to wear that dress out. And it's just sad that her stylist put her in this dress for the Oscars night, right? Um, moving along, next up I have Miss Margot Robbie. Again, she is in Chanel. And speaking of ugly, this once again is an ugly dress. Like, where are we going? Like, I understand it's trying to give me some bohemian look, feel type of thing, but this is horrible. Um, this string they need to go these are not sleeves completely i would have taken that thing and burned them and then they decided to put a brooch like right in between her boobs and i'm like why is it not ugly enough we had to add some more things to it no it's absolutely not worth it and it's just sad because Margot is so beautiful and then this entire season we've seen her in ugly looks like ugly look after ugly look after ugly looks and I was expecting that maybe for the Oscars it's going to be different but we are wrong this is what we get even uglier um, so let's just move along Next up, I have Miss Natalie Portman, and she is wearing Dior. Um, now, Natalie outfit, I think it's actually beautiful. I love the black dress with the sheer overlay with the gold details on it. Um, complete that, of course, with a black classy cape. Um, I thought it just, she looked beautiful. And of course, she had all of the female directors, um, like all of the female directors that did not get nominated for an Oscar. She had their names embroidered on her cape as her, you know, she was protesting in silent, but I didn't really care much for it. I just thought the whole look was beautiful and I loved every bit of it. 
Now, moving along, I have Miss Regina King in Versace. Of course, this is one of the good looks from Versace and I just thought she looked beautiful. The dress fit her amazingly. Color, I love me a good pink. The makeup was flawless, classic, classy, elegant dress. I mean, the beadings were done beautifully and the skirt just fits nicely. Can't complain now, can we? Um, up next, we have Miss Rebel Wilson. Now Rebel Wilson is wearing Jason Wu. Now Miss Rebel, I applaud you. You had outdone yourself from BAFTAs last week. The ugly black with the red sequined dress. Coming from that to this, I'm just like, oh honey. Now this right here is old Hollywood glamour for you. I thought your hair was done nice, the makeup was beautiful, and of course the gold on her skin just looks beautiful. I thought she looked amazing, you know? Um, up next, we've got Miss Sandra O oh in Ali Sub. Now, this Ali Sub dress is a lot of dress for a petite woman. And, um, you know, we didn't have to put all the shoulder sleeve details. We didn't need all of that there. Now, for me personally, you know, I wish the dress from like the waist up is just the plain sequined color with the long sleeve. It would have been beautiful. Now we'll keep the belt as well. Take all of the organza floral detail, add that on the skirt. So have the entire skirt in that design. It would have been perfect. Like it would have looked beautiful, but Next up, we've got Miss Scarlett Johansson herself, and she is wearing Oscar de la Renter. Now, this champagne color dress is just amazing. I love the dress on Scarlett, and um, you know, I love that she also kept her makeup and accessories very minimal because you know, it's all about the dress and the body. I mean, if I have that kind of body, I will absolutely wear that dress as well. Um, but no, I just thought the dress looked amazing on her. The simplicity of it and the little details of the bodice, like the cage and the, you know, the beaded strings kind of just all over and I just thought it was beautiful and she never looked better. Next up, we've got Miss Tamarin Hall in Thea. Now this one here, I know some people might say it's a boring dress, but I honestly, I loved it because I thought the fit was just beautiful. The simplicity of the black dress, but then have the beaded, neckline detail there kind of just brought it to here for me and i love that dress you know i'm all for dresses that fits beautifully with a little bit of interest to them now next up is miss tanya lee and spike lee of course in gucci now these two when i saw the looks i was like oh of course Spike in his Spike style. I mean, this guy wears his style with such confidence that you can't even hate. And um, of course, he was just being himself. And um, for the Oscars, he decided to pay tribute to Kobe Bryant, of course, in his purple, like literally from head to toe, the purple suit, it even got 24 on it right on his lapel and also on the back of the coat um, and then all the way down to the shoes the glasses and everything and i love every second of that look now let's talk about tanya because spike of course look amazing in his style and then tanya comes in this 
off-white dress that you can see all the little seam through it um, and I just thought that dress was such a mess I'm like why like for me personally I would have put her in like a beautiful maybe yellow chiffon look or like a nice purple look to kind of match Spike's outfit but I understand if we're too old to match match on a red carpet um, had the dress fit a little bit better I think it would have been perfect but the fact that you got this ugly pleats in the front I just thought mm -mm, no and she is such a beautiful woman could have done a lot better with the dress, but I just, no, I didn't like her dress. But the husband looked amazing and I loved him for that. Now up next, speaking of new faces on the red carpet, um, is the queen of Egyptian cinema herself, and that is of course Yusra. So, I mean, it made me happy to like see Yusra on the Oscars red carpet. If you don't know, Yusra have been acting for a long time now, and in the Egyptian cinema, she is she is considered a legend. The woman has done countless movies, TV shows. She can sing, you name it. She's done it all, and um, I was really happy to see her on the red carpet. Um, and of course she is wearing a dress fit for a queen by Zuhair Murad. Now this dress is from his latest collection for the spring summer I believe. And it was inspired by Egyptian queens and royals, you know. And um, I thought the dress was just perfect for her. With her being the queen and the dress of course it just marries so well and she looked beautiful. And the woman hasn't aged one bit. It's like, how? You know, I want to be like, I want to look like that when I am her age as well. That would be nice, you know, without having to spend too much money, of course. Um, but no, that brings us to our last but not least. And um, that is Miss Zazie Beats. Now, Zazie Beats is wearing this... Um, two-piece look here just a sequin midi skirt with a corset top that I thought was really beautiful now I don't know what's the dress code for the Oscars red carpet but you know what is refreshing is seeing a non gown look on the carpet or like a non tuxedo look on the carpet I just loved it I thought she looked beautiful and it fit her beautifully her makeup was minimal to perfection the whole thing just fits her beautifully but now that brings us to the end of the video and I would like to know uh, what you thought of the Oscars who was your best dress and your worst dress celebrity of course go on and comment below and um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit on that subscribe button. Also hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, but with that being said, you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.